Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at what it means for something to be static. So, something to be static is basically just saying that it belongs to the class instead of a specific instance of that class, right? So, that basically means if we make something static we can access it without having to uh make it an object and any just a lot of things can be uh static classes can be static variables can be static methods can be static and we can make what's called a static block so the first thing i'll showcase is having a static method right so we have this method here called tester and i just had mentioned that in order to get access to tester, we would obviously need to go ahead and make that static in order to do it this way, right? So that doesn't work. But what we can do is we can go ahead and say private test, test equals a new instance of test. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and say test, oops, test dot tester. And you can see there that we now have access to this, but we have to go ahead and make this static because this is also static. And now the reason that this has to be static and it can't just it can't be non-static is because in order to use any variable in a static method, all the variables have to be static. The one thing that is nice about static variables is they can be used in static and non-static uh, methods. So I can go ahead and say private void. Uh, we'll just say dog. And I can go ahead and use test. Right, and I can call test.tester. But if I change this to non stat you can see there that it only works in the non static uh, method because it can't work in static methods because it needs to be static in order to work inside of a static. So keep that in mind. But now, if we go ahead and we make this method static, we can see there that it's telling us that it's access that we it's a static member, right? So it's going to access to change it to a static access, which would be just the name of the class and then dot what it is. So test dot tester. And it's telling us to do the same thing down here, right? Regardless that this is a non-static uh, method here. Because now that method is static, so we can access it in a static way and we don't need test tester because we have nothing in there that it needs to be instantiated, right? Or it doesn't need an instance of. So that's one thing. Now, the next thing you can do is you can make what's called static blocks. And now static blocks are used to initialize static variables. And the block of code is executed when the class is loaded within its memory or in, in memory, right? And the only thing about static blocks is they are executed in the same sequence that they have been written into the program as, right? So if I go ahead and say static string first name, duplicate that last name, and now I say static, oops, static first name is equal to dog. We're just making some, or, you know, we'll just say Doug. We'll make it make sense. Uh, Doug Broy, right? So we have our static variable of first name Doug and last name Broy. And now if we go ahead and we say system.out.print, first name plus fn we'll duplicate that we'll say last name ln you can see now if we go ahead and execute this it's going to say Doug Broy right but now let's go ahead and make something quick here so let's just go ahead and say private uh, static void uh, name changer or not private static void whoops I just want uh... actually no yeah that's what I want sorry so if we put this here we bring that up into there and now we make another static and we just copy this into here we paste this into here and we change this to Dougie Broyer and now we change this to, yeah, we can keep it just like this, right? But we'll say 
name changer, you can see there that it's still executing this way, right? It's still saying Dougie Breuer because it's been set before we even execute it, right? You can see there that it's still doing it. It doesn't matter where you put it, right? Because it's loaded before everything else. So if we wanted it to print out showing us the different names, we'd actually have to go and bring these statics inside of the or this system out inside of these static methods here, right? So we can go ahead and do that. And then we can go ahead and do this. I mean, now we can get rid of name changer and we can get rid of that because we don't need to. So we can load this. And now if we run this, you can see there that it is now Doug Broy and Dougie Broyer. So that's how you can use the multiple um, statics. But now if we move these around here real quick and we execute this, you can say that now that Dougie is first and Doug is second because like I said, they are executed in the order that they are written and they are run before everything else. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So if we were to put a system dot out dot print line um, last, and now we run this, it's gonna run last, right? Because even if we were to move these up on top and we were to run this, it doesn't matter because these are loaded as soon as the program is executed. Then it runs all these normal methods. So the next thing is our static variables, which we've kind of already been looking at a little bit here. Uh, but static variables, um, like I mentioned before, can be accessed in non-static and static methods. So, which we already showcased, so I'm not gonna show again. So that's all I got for you guys today. You guys hope you learned a little bit about um, using static, uh, whether it's in methods, whether it's in variables, um, what have you. You can also use static classes. Uh, I'm not going to get into that mostly because I don't want people to really use them. You don't, there's not quite a huge need for static classes um, and most people will probably use them wrong. So I will make a video in the future about how to actually use static classes. But that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe.